Good evening everyone, welcome to Homemakers. Tonight we're going to be making a tile coaster. So I'm just gonna go over what you have in your kit. You should have one of these wooden coasters. You should have a bag of small tiles, a knife, some glue, which will be in a small plastic container, and also grout, which will be in a small plastic container. Um, they're both white, but the glue is a lot runnier. So if you're not sure, just put the container upside down and you'll be able to tell which one is glue. So we are gonna start by gluing our tiles. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is make a pattern though, because depending on what you've got, um, that'll kinda tell you how you should proceed. So we're working in um, like an alternating pattern. So this one has three different colors. Some of you may have two different colors. Um, you're gonna wanna count and see how many tiles you have in each color because that will tell you the order that they should go in. So I'm gonna separate these out. And it looks like this one has three colors. Okay, so I'm going to count these up. I have five, 10, 16, five, 10, 15, 17, five, 10, 15, 16. Okay, so I have 16 of each of these and 17 of this one. So I would start by doing the black one. So whichever one you have the most of is the one you want to start with. Um, it doesn't matter which pattern you or which color you use after that because there are the same amount of these two. If you just have two colors, same thing. You'll just go which, with whichever one has the most. Um, if you've got two colors, it would be 25 tiles of one color, 24 of another. So if you do this pattern, you'll end up with a really nice um, structure for your tiles. Um, so with the tiles in this, and you all have a square, it's going to be seven across and seven down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I would just start over. Um, so after this would come this one, you just continue with the, the colors that you have. So mine would be blue, or black, light blue, and dark blue. So you can kind of see the pattern forming here. Uh, I'm not gonna do all seven rows, but the way to line up is you'll have your colors going at a diagonal. So all of your black ones will be in a row and same for your other colors. All right, so I'm not actually gonna use these colors. I'm just gonna use some that I've already started on. So I'm pretty much just using the leftovers in a random order. Before you start gluing your tiles, um, you wanna kinda of space things out. So, like I said, you should have seven across and then seven down. So I'm gonna start, let's see, 
What I'm doing right now is just seeing how much space I'm going to have in between because when we grout it we want there to be grout along the outside edges as well. So I'm just making sure that I can see kind of the space I'm going to need for each one before I start gluing. So remember to leave a little bit of space here in front of all of these as well. And don't space them too close together because then you won't be able to grout in between all of the tiles. Okay, so now I have an idea of what I'm doing and I can go ahead and get started with um, the gluing. So to speed things up a little bit, I'm going to start with this one. So you don't need a ton of glue for this. This is just to hold it down temporarily until you can get your grout in. So I know your glue is in a little container, so you may want to use your knife to spread it around and then wipe your knife off because we're going to need that for the, um, for the grout as well. Okay, so I'm going to finish my pattern. Making sure that I have a little bit of space between each color. And like I said, this one isn't really following any sort of design. It's just whatever I have left.
Okay, so now I've got all my tiles glued down and I'm gonna pick it up and look at it. I can tell I got my first row a little too close in a couple spots, but that's okay. So now, as long as you are, you work pretty quickly, your glue shouldn't be dry. So you can kind of adjust. You can also adjust as you go. You don't have to wait until the end. Um, and just make sure that you have little spaces between them all. Make sure your tiles haven't gotten stuck together because sometimes that happens. And this glue doesn't take too long to dry as long as you don't put a ton of glue down. Okay, so I think this looks alright, so I'm going to let this dry for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back and talk about putting some grout down.